my name is Boris and in today's video we're going to write a melodic house chord progression. This time we'll make some happier uplifting chords but we'll make sure they do not sound corny. We'll start really basic and at the end we will arrive at a complete and amazing sounding chord progression. Before we get into the video, if you like what we are doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more Ableton Live tips like this one. We've got a lot more tutorials like this coming up. And if you'd like to learn harmony and chord progressions a little bit more in depth, check out our online courses. The link is in the description. All right, so let's get started. I have a brand new MIDI track here. I've just dropped the grand piano here and made this eight bar loop. And the progression that we're going to be writing today is in the key of E major. I've marked it here and let's open up the clip. And actually we could write it with our piano roll like this, if you know what the sharps and flats are in E major, but we could just enable scale, choose E, choose major from the second drop down menu and enable scale over here. And now if we take a look, we are only left with the notes of the E major scale. The first step is going to be doing that. Okay, so let's get started with our triads. Uh, maybe let's just change the grid here. We're going to be just writing four chords. So we just need big steps like these. And changing that, by the way, is done with command and one and two. One makes the grid smaller, two makes the grid larger. Okay, so let's maybe just add the F sharp two note, extending it over here like this. And um, let's add a fifth from that. And let's add a third. By the way, I'm doing that by clicking option on Mac or Alt um, and dragging the notes. So we have an F sharp minor triad here, but actually we could make that an F sharp minor seven. And you might be wondering about what I said that we're going to be making a happy sounding chord progression. And this chord by itself, an F sharp minor chord does not sound really happy. But the F sharp minor seven, I would argue that it does sound significantly happier. And that's because we have the A major chord that is included inside this one. Okay, so the next one is actually going to be the A major chord. So we can take the top three notes and just duplicate it. And we're going to add another triad. So let's duplicate this one too. And let's go down to E. And the next one is going to be the B chord. Maybe let's divide that by two, duplicate that once again, and uh, maybe let's uh, make the grid much smaller. And uh, we can divide the last one by two as well and duplicate it. And we're going to add some changes here as well. We can move this note up and we can completely disable these two notes and just add a triad below that. And let's change the length of these notes. So going like this. Okay, so let's play it from the beginning to the end. And this already is starting to sound a bit uplifting, especially the ending here is really interesting. And let's label the chords now. The first one is going to be F sharp minor seven. The second one is going to be the A major chord. And the third one is going to be the B major chord. So playing major chords over half of this chord progression at least. And here's a B chord, so also a major chord. And this one is a B sus4 chord. And that just means that the third is suspended and the third is replaced by uh, the note number four here. So E. And the last chord is going to be the E major chord. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, check out our website packed with online courses and professional sound packs. If you want to cut years of your learning curve, Check the PML Beginner to Advanced Music Production program for Ableton Live. You will know Ableton inside out and learn how to write, produce, mix and master complete tracks. You learn step by step at your own speed from an empty file to professional production, as if we're sitting side by side in the studio. Thank you for listening. 
And now let's get back to your tutorial. So let's add some base notes and some inversions to make this as interesting as possible. Okay, so let's maybe lower this first note by an octave. Sounds a bit better than just this. Much fuller. And maybe let's duplicate the bottom note of the A chord here. And this sounds really cool because we are actually playing this shape twice and it fits to both of these chords. Right, one little mistake, this chord is not a B, this chord is an E major chord. Okay, so we are putting this note by an octave up and putting this note also as a bass note. So this resolves really nicely here, from A to E. Um, and now let's also uh, invert these notes a bit, so maybe let's take these two top notes and put them down an octave. Maybe we can take this note and put it up an octave. And we can take this note and put it down an octave, so doubling it in the lower register. And some last adjustments could be that we take this B note and duplicate it over here. And the same with this chord because we are, uh, after all, playing a B chord here, double B chord, lower B just reinforces the fact that this is a, a B major chord. Right, so let's play it from the beginning to the end. This sounds absolutely fine. You could find something like that in a pop or rock ballad. We are going to take a synth to play it in an electronic track. I'm just I'm just going to grab a synth and let's play it from the beginning. In my opinion, it sounds really, really great. This progression and this synth sound is actually part of our template called Bright Lights. And I'm going to play to you this chord progression in context of the fully produced track. You will find the link to this template in the description for sure. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. Consider checking out our Music Production Academy. We've got a lot of start to finish courses on making tracks like these. And these are for both beginners and more advanced producers. Um, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and make a comment. And I will see you in the next tutorials.